Hi guys, it's Caden back again. Um, I really need to stop saying back again because it's annoying. Sorry. Um, I am back though, so I'm gonna be making a spooky video for you guys because I'm feeling spooky today and I like spooky things. So <laughs> we're gonna do that for you. I'm reading these things on my phone. So yes, I have a giant phone case. It's almost the size of my freaking head. So we're gonna read about one man hide and seek, like a paranormal game that you shouldn't play. So these are the rules, what's gonna happen to you and what you need. No time is home. Okay. So it says, one man hide and seek. So, things you need. Ready for this? Preparation. Take out whatever the doll is stuffed with. Once all of its stuffing is removed, restuff it with rice. Stuff that hole with rice, okay? Clip off a few pieces of your nails. Of your nails! My nails are really crusty right now, but like, girl, clip off your nails. You're just... Mm. Clip off a few pieces of your nails and put them inside the doll. <clears throat> sew up the opening with a crimson thread. When you finish sewing, tie up the doll with the rest of the thread. So you're going to tie it up with red thread, apparently, I guess. Go to the bathroom, fill your bathtub with water, and then return to your hiding place and put the cup... Wait, what? It says put the cup of salt water on the ground, but it didn't ever say anything about having salt water. So I was confused. Excuse me. Apparently you need salt water. Okay, how you do it? Give the name to your doll. This name can be any but your own. So I think I'd name him Steve. Probably. When it's 3 a.m., say, Steve. I think that's what I said. I think I said Steve. We're gonna go with Steve if that wasn't what it was. Say, Steve is the first. First it. It says first it, but I don't understand, okay? I'm illiterate. Say, Steve is the first it to the doll three times. Three times, okay? You got it? Go to the bathroom and put the doll into a watered filled bathtub. Listen, bathtubs are my sanctuary. I don't want no creepy ass doll up in my business. That's my home. Keep your creepy doll filled with your damn toenails and whatever else outside of my bath water. Thank you. Next. Turn off all the lights in your house, go back to the hiding place and switch on the TV. How is it just like saying that you're gonna switch on things that you don't have? What if I don't have a TV in my house? I mean, I do, but whatever. And switch on the TV. After counting to 10 with your eyes closed, return to the bathroom with the edge tool in your hand. Where did this damn edge tool come from? Am I missing something? <gasps> I'm missing something. <laughs> So pretty much you have to have everything that I've said, like a sharp edge tool, everything else, and a hiding place. I'm sorry, I overlooked that. Okay, going back. After counting to 10 with your eyes closed, return to the bathroom with the edge tool in your hand. We need that. I got it, thank you. Go to the bathtub and say to the doll, I have found you, Steve. Stab the doll with the edge tool. Stab the hole. Get all your frustration out. Don't even worry about it. Say, you are the next it, Steve, as you take the doll out of the bathtub and leave it on the counter in your bathroom. As soon as you put the doll down, run back to the hiding place and hide. Hide. Girl. Okay, this is how to finish. <laughs> okay, pour half of the cup of salt water into your mouth. Do not drink it. Just keep it there. Don't you like hallucinate if you drink salt water? I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I'm pretty sure you go crazy or something. Or you just turn into aquamarine. Whatever. Get out of your hiding place and start looking for the doll. The doll is not necessarily in the bathroom. Whatever happens, do not spit out the salt water. Okay. So you're saying the doll will move? Listen, sis, I had a haunted doll growing up. Yes, she was haunted. And it was terrifying. Her name was Crystal, and she was an American girl, so she looked like me. Um, I don't want no creepy-ass doll following me through my house. I'm sorry. Next. When you find the doll, pour the rest of the salt water in the cup over it. Spit out the salt water in your mouth into it as well. So you're pouring it into the doll? I don't want to spit on a doll. It's kind of rude. And then I guess you just say, I win three times. This is supposed, supposed to end the ritual. Okay. Also, it says a note is after this, make sure you dry the doll, burn, and discard it. Okay. It also says, please do not stop this ritual halfway. You must do it through the end. This is a dangerous ritual and it will not be responsible for what happens to you if you try. 
Okay, these things are um, other things to keep in mind. Do not leave the house until you have done the finishing ritual. You must turn off every single light in your house when told to do so. You must keep quiet while hiding. You do not need to put the salt water in your mouth during the beginning. You only need to do it during the finishing ritual. Remember, if you are living with somebody, you might put them in danger too. Keep the ritual slash game under two hours or else the, the spirit will be too strong to remove. Huh? You're going to tell me that if I bring a spirit into my house, which I really hope, I don't think I do at this point in my life. I did, but I don't think I do anymore. If I play this for more than two hours, which I wouldn't, and I wouldn't play it for two hours, I'd be too scared. It's just going to bust in here and start you better start paying rent for safety reasons it might be best to keep all the doors in the house unlocked including your front door as well have close friends by so they can come and help at a moment's notice if you ever need them okay so i guess the notes so like what the um the rice and the crimson thread and all of that stuff they're supposed to actually mean something. They're not just like to be creepy and weird. They're actually supposed to signify something. So I guess the rice is supposed to re represent the innards. Um, your innards that are made of rice somehow. That's a thing. Um, the crimson thread is supposed to represent a blood vessel. Um, by cutting the thread, you break the seal and release the spirits you have trapped. It says, if you go out of the hiding place without salt water, you may encounter something wandering around. <gasps> no! Oh my god, I hate that. I hate i'm in my basement right now alone my dogs are gone i'm scared ew i hate that ew it gets worse it gets worse it says you may encounter something wandering around in your house which may harm you in some way the way to feel the presence of something wandering around is to watch what happens to the tv i guess the tv is supposed to make you know that it's there i get that i hate that on a lot of different levels okay well let's um i'm gonna do another one for you guys because I want to. So um, let's do one more. I'm gonna find one because I didn't really prep for this video. I just kind of wanted to film it. So let me go find a new one. I'll be back. Okay, so I found a new one and it sounds even more terrifying than the last one. It's called Dry Bones and it looks terrifying. Did I mention that? Yeah. Okay, sorry y'all, I had a slight mental breakdown. I thought something was coming to kill me. So I went and got my dogs. Okay, <sighs> let's get back to it. All right, um, I guess this is like a hybrid of um, hide and seek, the one I just told you guys about. But it's kind of like Bloody Mary. So I guess you like wish for something. I don't know. Let's read it. You need one player. Uh, requirements are one bathroom. It says there's flex, there's flexibility here. The mirror over your bathroom sink will likely be the best option, but a hand mirror is also acceptable. So, um, matches it says don't use a lighter. Don't don't you use that lighter? A timekeeping device. This is technically optional, but highly recommended. The ability to keep time accurately is essential. essential instructions before beginning clear your house of people and pets make sure they know not to come back until the sun has risen the next morning so i'm just gonna kick my mom and my dogs out of my house because i want to play a fucking game in the mirror if the mirror isn't already in the bathroom place it there okay make sure the matches are some somewhere on your person is that me am i the person the invitation ew i hate that already begin at 12:01 a.m Securely close anything in your door that can be open. Doors, cabinets, closets, etc. Everything. Turn off all the lights in your house, as well as anything that might make noise. Unplugging noise, making the devices, is recommended. Enter the bathroom. Close the door behind you. Everything needs to be closed. Remember, face the mirror. If you hear anything unusual, do not proceed leave immediately exit the house go somewhere until safe do not return until daylight if you hear nothing out of the ordinary you may proceed think of something you want think about it hard visualize in your head if you can i want a mazda 3 i want a mazda 3 light a match let it burn out if the match burns out in under 15 seconds do not proceed again telling you to leave the house immediately if the match burns for at least 15 seconds you may proceed. So I guess this is kind of like a doer, like it has to be really on point or you can't do it, I guess. I don't know. Oh no. Don't test me. If you guys can't see that, this is moving. And it's probably just me, like with my whirlwind of air. 
but it's still scary. All right, lie on the ground and speak the words, I am aware of your presence, I welcome you into my home, come now. Which you should never do, because if it's a demon, you're welcoming it into your home, and you don't want to do that shit because you can't get rid of it. Exit the bathroom, close the door behind you. Go to the biggest room in your house, close the door behind you. Wait. If you hear anything other than a low moan and or slight rattling noise, do not proceed. And you, it just it just keeps on going, you know, exit your house, go somewhere. If you hear a low moan and or slight rattling noise, you may proceed. So the game, run, hide, do it quickly and quietly. Stay hidden until 3 o'clock a.m. This is not as easy as it sounds. Don't let him see you. Don't let him hear you. Don't let him catch you. <laughs> the farewell. Bye. At 3 o'clock a.m., return to the biggest room in your house. Close the door behind you. Speak the following words. Thank you for playing, but you must leave now. You are no longer welcome. If you do not hear any form of acknowledgement, repeat the phrase until you do. You know it when you hear it. Sleep if you can. When you awaken, return to your everyday life. Your prize should be forthcoming. Do not ever play this game again. And then there's some additional notes just kind of telling you like other stuff to not do or do. Do not blow the match out. Let it burn out on its own. If you blow the match out, even accidentally, exit the area immediately, go somewhere safe. Do not return until daylight. After you enter the biggest room of your house during the invitation, be patient. The waiting period might last a few as five minutes or it might take much longer. And then it just says, consider your wish. And then it just pretty much tells you to never play the game again or it will screw you over. Those are both really terrifying games and I really hope you don't do them. I just wanted to share them because I think they're kind of interesting. I might do some other ones so let me know if you guys want to see those but please don't do them. Please. I'm serious. I hate like if you've never had ghosts in your house or demons you don't want them. Trust me. They're not fun to live with. So yeah I mean let you let me know if you guys like this video. I think that's about all I got for this time but let me know if you guys like this video. I can definitely make more. Um, let me know what you guys think. Like I said please do not do this at home. Please don't and if you do don't tell me about it. Leave a like. Let me know if you guys like it. Leave me a comment. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do any other of these games or if you want me to read anything that's happened for people that have actually done these games or just let me know what else you guys would want to see. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a really fun time making it. Uh. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I really, really appreciate you guys and hopefully I'll see you next time. So thank you guys. Bye!